Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Marlies and today's project is all about making matchboxes. The matchboxes in this video are given to me by a friend of mine. Uh, so I want to offer you also another solution to make your own matchboxes. And um, when you have or buy this die set, it is a die set from Tim Holtz in Sizzix, you can also make your own matchboxes. And I will give you the number of this item and the number is 665439. Let's jump right in this project. I already prepared all my papers um, with some ink on the edges, so I aged a little bit. And the loose pieces of paper that go on the inside of the box and also on top if you want to and on the sides, I have stitched them with a running stitch along all sides. The match box exists out of two parts. The bottom part is out of craft paper and the top part is out of one of the Tim Holtz paper pads. I am going to embellish the top of the box and I'm using some label snippets to do so. I like it when my labels are a little bit cut on this side and so it's only a partial piece of the label that I'm going to use. In total I'm going to make three match boxes. I want them to be matching but also a little bit different in style. Two of the boxes will have an adornment on top. Uh, the adornments are from Tim Holtz and I'm using the set of butterflies and also a set entomology. First layer that I'm going to add is um, a layer of distressed paint. It is a blue color prize ribbon and I'm just going to add it roughly with a brush. When the adornments are dry, I'm going in with some steel wool to rub over the top layer with paint. Um, I'm going to begin with some slight pressure and I can build my pressure up until I'm happy with the results. On to the next layer, I'm going to use some distress paint, antique bronze, and I'm just going to add it here and there and not in total. I'm mostly focusing on some erased areas. Also, this paint layer will be roughened up with some steel wool with some slight pressure because I do not want to remove all the antique bronze. Uh, so just begin slightly and move your way around. Next up is some alcohol ink, espresso color. I will drop some drops on top of the adornments and wipe it or dab it off with an old cloth just to give the adornments a little bit a more antique uh, look, a little bit weathered and stained. You can repeat this step with the alcohol ink multiple times um, and just do it as long as you are happy with the result and build up some antique layers. I want to bring back a little bit of a highlight, so I'm going to use a dry brush technique with the antique bronze distress paint and just rub it uh, on the raised areas. Let's get back to the boxes. I want them to be a little bit more embellished. So I got out some remnant drops from Tim Holtz and I'm just going to fill in some blank areas.
the adornments will be my focal point on those matchboxes but I want uh, something in the background so you will have something playful something to look at and something interesting and I'm going to use the Tim Holtz snippets the curator pack to give it an extra layer and make sure before you glue them down you have given them a good rub of brownish ink before gluing down the bug and the butterfly I want some extra layering underneath uh, of the insect and the butterfly and I'm going to add some loose thread and some pieces of fabric or mummy cloth This is what I am aiming for uh, as an end result. So when uh, you are happy with all your layers, also on the box and also underneath your bug, it is time to glue it down. After gluing the butterfly and the insect down, I still saw some white and clear area on the matchboxes itself and I want those areas to be filled. So I got out a stamp set from Tim Holtz, the eccentric one, and I'm going to stamp with the archival ink cobalt. I want the third matchbox to be a little bit different, so I got out a mini doll, a mini paper doll from Tim Holtz and also the Snippets Pack Curator. I'm going to prepare my papers first with some ink and I also have those little butterfly wings that I will put um, underneath the boy. Once I am happy with uh, the layout, how I want everything to be, I'm going to glue every piece down with the Distress Collage Medium. Because I already worked before on the bug and the butterfly with some loose thread, I'm going to repeat those steps on the little boy, but instead of a black thread, I have chosen a red thread. Besides the thread, I also found uh, some leftover pieces of a kind of lace, uh, a little bit of an open structure, and I'm just going to uh, cut it into little pieces so I can stick it behind this little guy. And there is also a reason why I work in blue and red tones in this project because this um, is part of a swap that I did with Artemis, Andrea and uh, all of my other pieces are also with blue and red tones and I want it all to be matching and that is why I am repeating those colors. I also do not want to forget about little details, such as a little label as this will add even more to your project and I will uh, glue it on top of the little guy and I'm going to embellish it with a little remnant rub. And here I have a close-up of all three matchboxes for you. That also means we are coming to the end of the video. I hope you liked my video and got some inspiration out of it. When you do, please like, subscribe or comment down below. Thank you for spending time on my channel. Have a great day!